Magazine is out with its 2023 Sexiest Man Alive and Eagles Center Jason Kelsey made the list. A big surprise. CBS News Philadelphia's Howard Monroe here with fan reaction and Kelsey's reaction to the honor. This is hard hitting stuff, Howard. It is hard hitting, yes, hard hitting story yes, of the day. Yes. Well, Jason Kelsey had the reaction that you might expect him to have. And not only do the Eagles have the best record in the NFL, they also have one of the sexiest men alive on their roster. Jason Kelsey was just named one of People Magazine's Sexiest Men Alive. If you're keeping count, the center has now won a Super Bowl, is a six-time pro bowler, a five-time all-pro selection, and now one of People Magazine's Sexiest Men Alive. He was drafted by the Eagles back in 2011 and has the franchise record of starting in 148 consecutive games. The father of three, who was just celebrated his 36th birthday on Sunday, had a humble response on social media saying, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We spoke with diehard Eagles fans who agree with the selection. I completely agree. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous man. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> Are you surprised to see uh, see him on a list? No, I mean, he, he is Philadelphia. He's got everything. He is a good looking man. I think he deserves to be there. Oh, you know what? I love Jason Kelsey. I actually do like Jason Kelsey. Okay, I mean, maybe not the sexiest man alive, but oh, he's up there. He's got something going for him, right? Right, he's got something going for him. The beard? Yeah, it's the beard, definitely the beard. I'm 215 affiliated, so it's like, I love it. I love it. Anything from Philly, anything that got anything positive narratives to do with Philly, I'm all for it. Sexiest man alive, our center, I love it. And by the way, People's Sexiest Man Alive is Grey's Anatomy star Patrick Dempsey. The last time Kelsey missed a game was all the way back in 2014. The Eagles, they have a bye this week. He'll be back on the field on Monday, November 20th, when they play his brother Travis's team, the Kansas City Chiefs. So take that, Travis. Well, you know this is going to be part of their podcast. Right, right. It came yes. out today. I did listen to part of it. It doesn't seem like it was in... Uh, uh, that podcast today, but maybe they couldn't the say anything. Week. Yeah, so they had a non-disclosure. No, I mean, that's what I sign right. each year as a runner-up. Uh, absolutely. That I'm not going to disclose. <laughs> right. Next year will be your <laughs> yeah, year. Well, okay. You yeah. said they already had the Philly guy, yeah. and yes. they already had the guy that you're yeah. in. Yeah, 215 so. affiliated, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just. Got high hopes for next year. You know, I was listening to their podcast one day, and I guess they both made the Hall of Fame at their high school in Cleveland Heights. And oh. Jason had said, the only reason they put me on there is because they put Travis on there. He won the Super Bowl, and they felt bad not including me. Right. So now he has. This his is, thing. This is good. And they didn't even put Travis as a runner Look up. Yeah. Taylor Swift and all. Who would have thought? You know, I, I it's think, a burden. I think I think <laughs> a lot of women like that that bearded dad the beard look. Thing, the I mean, the beard guy, thing is a big you know? these days. Right. Yeah, and he just looks like he'd be a good cuddler. Yeah. Look, he's a good dad. Give you a big old hug. Exactly. You know? Bear hug. Bear hug. He'll go. crush you. <laughs> he might crush you, but he does look like he'd be gentle. Three little girls. I mean, you got to be gentle right. with them. Right. So right. congratulations to him. <laughs>